I'm very detail obsessed. I love accessories. I love the small bits and bobs and I think the devil's in the detail and that is both true in my home and also in my work. Hi, I'm Eric Kenneth Stolberg and this is my handmade home in Los Angeles, California. I'm an interior prop stylist, which basically is like a set designer, but on a much smaller scale for interior projects. What made me want to move into this apartment in particular was the fact that it was untouched. It kind of felt like this time capsule and all of the original details had been preserved, like the crown molding, the original tile, the French windows in all the spaces. It has so much character and so much, you know, history that I immediately fell in love with it. And besides the price was right, so I, I couldn't say no. So one of the great things of this apartment is there's this entryway that is like half indoor, half outdoor, but has this amazing skylight. And so it was completely underutilized and I started to fill it with plants and more plants and more plants. And eventually I kind of have this wonderful atrium, which is so nice with all of the Spanish tile and the wrought iron and you know, I've added some kind of Spanish elements like this tile and this planter that add to, you know, the old world charm of this building that I just immediately fell in love with. And I think it's a good, you know, precursor to the apartment coming up these old terracotta tiled stairs and having all of these old plant stands, everything's wrought iron and has a good Spanish feel to it. I think it's a, a good little appetizer. Come on in, welcome to my living room, which is typically the most used room in my house. It uh, gets the best light, so I will say plants are pretty successful around here. But uh, what I love about this room is this lime green, key lime custard color. It's almost like a jade. And it has brought all of the hues that are in this space like forward. It's very uh, saturated. And then you have all these rich woods. And I just think there's really good balance. My living room is the room I definitely spend the most time in. And I think it's because there is these amazing bookcases in it that are just filled with so many memories. And it kind of feels like this like library of my life. And I think being in this room so often really is enriching. Definitely has more of an older character than some of the other rooms, and I'm loving that distinguishing difference between some of the spaces. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the room I uh, entertain the most in as well. This is typically meant to be a coat closet, but when I moved in, it is so big that I knew it had a bigger purpose. So this is actually where I keep all of my accessories. It is filled from the floor to the ceiling with nothing but accessories. I have, you know, a vintage purse rack. I have all my shoes. I hung this big cable with all of my silk scarves. I brought in this dresser, which actually was in my mother's nursery as a child. And uh, the drawers had been all dinged up and so this part was good, the surface, I just wanted to kind of give the drawer fronts a refresh, so I painted them in a pattern similar to the three-legged chair just outside it, so there's a little connection there. And all each drawer has a different accessory. Earrings, bracelets, belts, purses, sunglasses. So this is kind of like Grand Central Station of fashion in my home. I think like taking what I saw, the couple that lived here before, had like their bicycles in it. It was just like such wasted space. And I completely, you know, retrofitted it for my needs. And I think that's like the best DIY that has been the most successful. Most important room in the house. Here's all the jewels. 
This is like, I guess, my version of a hallway, even though it's not much of a hall, it's like a dumb little room. And I think most people would probably do absolutely nothing to this room. And of course I have fully committed myself to <laughs> decorating this place. I recently just painted it this like dusty lilac and I had my friend Issa paint these Trump Loy style ribbons with bows at the top, all in different hues. It has added so much whimsy to this space and it just makes me s smile so much, which is great to have it in the center of the house, kind of leads you into each space, which I think is a good transition. This is my tiny little original tiled, original pedestal sink bathroom that, you know, isn't much, but when I moved in here, the walls were painted like a chocolate brown, which when you have like this kind of canary yellow tile is so bizarre. This is probably the second room I painted and it was kind of a no brainer because you can see there's all these original fixtures, uh, the towel bar, the soap holder, there's like a little toothbrush holder. All of those things had this really good teal, like this like bright, almost like an ocean teal. And so I painted the walls that to bring all of those elements forward. And it worked like such a dream. And yeah, I always try to make sure there's plants and life in there because you don't want things to be too sterile, especially in a bathroom or a kitchen. You know, there's some ugly pipes and wiring down underneath the pedestal sink. So all I did was bring in some plants down at the bottom and it uh, definitely looks a lot more homey. And now I take you into the pink parlor, which is, you know, a dining room, essentially. It's, you know, very prissy pink and it's where I do the majority of my hosting. I love to set a table, so that's always a good opportunity for me to really impress. And it kind of feels like the most glamorous room out of all of my apartment. I think it definitely has the most jewelry in it. There's tons of brass, tons of bright colored glass, the pink elements, and I think that always is a um, crowd pleasing for anyone I have over. Let's go into the kitchen. I would definitely say the kitchen is my least favorite room, mainly because I hate to cook, but I will say I have done enough cosmetic opportunities in there that have made it not a terrible place to be, and I think most people find it charming. Uh, I definitely leaned into the kitsch vibe with the 1930s Wedgwood stove that's original with the apartment. Something I love is the original tile. Um, like in the bathroom, we have this really nice canary yellow, but then there's all these green accents and I didn't love the forest green with the yellow. It actually is my high school colors. Go Mustangs. And I was just trying to like break that up a little so I am confusing the eye by bringing in other shades of green throughout and I think that kind of helps make it more of an ensemble piece. Welcome to my bedroom, which is probably my favorite room in the house. It recently got a refresh and I just think it really speaks to my personality because even though, you know, it's a pretty neutral bedroom, you know, if you look at it, the foundation of the room is white, the bedding, the walls, the furniture, and then I brought in all of these like really saturated colors in the accessories. As you can see, the pillows are like an array. I have this vintage quilt on the foot of my bed that was my friend's grandmother's. That just brings in such a good hue. Yeah, and I just think it adds so much personality while still being calm and not crazy or antique. And it feels a lot more contemporary than a lot of my other rooms which I obviously love the old stuff, but there's something about these lines that make it feel a little 
more modern that I, I'm really enjoying. So it is really peaceful and I think it's like my little solace in a world that is layered and abundant and vibrant. Now probably my favorite part of this space and rightfully so it's what I you know go to bed at night and wake up to every morning is this collage wall which it's kind of like a gallery wall but I have layered art on top of other pieces and it looks trickier than it is. I basically just found the longest nails I could find, which are like that big. And, you know, kind of had to artfully do it, but I love how it just feels super layered and collected. And kind of the, th the through line of all these pieces is both black and white photography and objects. I like bringing in, you know, some 3D images or 3D items into this because I think that again adds to that like 2D, 3D that we're playing with. One thing that every home needs is soul. I want to walk into a place and know exactly who lives there just based on how it's furnished. That says so much about a person and if you're not bringing in elements of yourself or that means something to you, it doesn't matter if it looks nice. It, it'll look stale and stiff and I think soul is really the most important thing someone can have in their home because only you can create it for yourself. And it, it's so powerful to have a space that reflects who you are. It's really energizing and rejuvenating and I absolutely would recommend you know, digging into the soul of your space. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Handmade for more home tours like this.